All right. So hi, hello, hola to all of you and good morning, good afternoon, good evening from all of you who have joined from the different parts of the world today. And we are really excited for today's event. As you know, the since the inception of global youth mental health awareness that Jim Hyde is incorporated in Australia, the nonprofit as a nonprofit organization, because has never rendered any raising awareness or improving youth and emotional and mental outcomes as well as making the physical uh, household term. You know, the GIMHA has been doing such a wonderful job in global health mental awareness. Even they are also focusing some others uh, event as well. You can have the stress management summit and some other summit. So, and ongoing some training as well. Even you, you will have an opportunity to do some uh, training. There is some training in our website as well. So why not you are joined there? Because, you know, the GMA is a global network of professional who's aim to empower anyone, especially those youth experiencing psychological health problems, emotional treatment, adjustment issues and concern, and with the individual to make psychological and household world without any stigma and prejudice. They're all the honorable, and I'm, I would like to welcome all of you once again. GMI, uh, in cooperation, Australia present the role of altruism on mental health web building. We'll have a great panelist today, and we will have a great time together as well. So you will get such a wonderful information and the way that you can even use to decorate your life. Because you know, altruism on the mental health well-being, that is really a burning issue right now. So without further ado, I would like to address some of the information regarding meditation. So dear all the honorable, maybe you are actually, uh, it's very, uh, very few people are actually have who have no, I mean, who have not existed at a stressful moment. Because if the stress has you anxious, tense, worry, Consider, try, uh, consider trying to do meditation. Why we have to do meditation? Because meditation can weave away the distress, bringing with it inner peace. You have been doing a lot of activities in, in your life for every single day. But if you are not getting the peace in, in your inner side, the day won't be a productive as well. So. We have to think that yes. how you, you easily learn to practice the meditation, even you can even do the practice the meditation in anywhere. I'm just focusing on some of the uh, very gist information. Don't take, I would take longer because meditation has a practice of thousands of years. You know, meditation originally was meant to help the deepen understanding to scare and the mystical force of life. Even this day, the meditation is commonly used for the relaxation and the stress reduction. Because uh, for your, if you are a professional, you have been spending all the day in your office and so much stressful work, so many things. But when you return to your home, you need to lead the relaxation moment in your home as well. So how can you be booster your inner peace? So this is the way we can do it. So maybe you are also asking that, you know, that during the meditation, your focus, I repeat, your focus, your attention, I eliminate the steam of jumbled thought and maybe the crowding of mind that's causing the stress. This, uh, this process actually may result in enhance the physical and emotional well-being. That's what is required to our day-to-day -day life. Maybe you are asking that, yes, and most of the people are talking about the meditation. Is there a benefit and is it really work? Absolutely. Because meditation can give you a sense of calm, peace, and balance that it can benefit both of your emotional well-being that I said earlier, and your overall health. Bangladesh doing Bangladesh some Bangladesh exercise, Bangladesh. doing some exercise, it will Bangladesh definitely Bangladesh. help you physically, but trust Bangladesh. me, if you are doing meditation, okay. it will help you both physically as well as your mental health. You know what? Most of we actually spending our time uh, to continue to maintain the health. I mean, 
the healthy exercise and some other things to do uh, to be a physical fit. But nowadays, as I uh, have learned so many research information that we have to have considered the mental health more than the physical health. Because you can even experience a lot of the news in the newspaper, TV channel, and some other way that most of the youth, even most of the celebrities are actually doing a suicide because of their frustration and because of not getting the inner peace and some other factors. So what you have to do? You have to do meditation. Whatever you, uh, whatever, the, there's a lot of way to do a meditation. You can, whatever you feel peace, I mean, feel like perfect for you, you can do it. So I'm just focusing the emotional and physical benefit of meditation. So what, what kind of benefit you will get? So number one, if I focus that it is actually gaining your new perspective or stressful situation, is building the skill to manage your stress. Even it is increasing your self-awareness that what is required, even it's also focusing on the present. As research suggests once again, that most of who are actually uh, thinking about the past, thinking about the future, but nobody, I mean, most of very few people actually lead their life in the present situation. It will focus on you on the present, as well as it's reducing negative emotion, absolutely. And it's also increasing the imagination and creativity. That will help you to, uh, to feel like a change maker of yourself, even though it can also increase the passion and the tolerance. Trust me, if you are very much passionate in nature, you can lead the world because this is all of the greatest power that what everyone should have. So last but not the least, it will help you lowering the resting of heart rate, blood pressure, even it's improve, improving your sleep quality. Because of the social media attraction, most of the youth, most of the people actually scrolling down the unlimited, unending uh, social media's uh, posts, videos, games, and so many things, but they are not taking the proper sleep at night. So I think meditation will definitely help you out. So yes, I'm not going so, so much deeper, but absolutely with the mind, some research information, even some researchers suggested that meditation may help the people manage symptoms of condition like anxiety, asthma, cancer, chronic pain, depression, heart disease, high blood pressure, irritated bowel syndrome, sleep problem, tension, headaches, and so many. So what we have to do? We have to do meditation at least a few minutes in every single day. So your all the day will be so much productive and peaceful from your inner soul. So yes, now I'm not going to soul uh, so, so much. So let's welcome another great panelist of the today. Trust me, from hard lesson, you will be able to learn, even earn some information that you can execute your life to make the decorated and more colorful life. So yes, I would like to welcome one of the leading personal development trainer, lobby cell consultant, motivational speaker, author, mentor, and of course, who is the icon of every woman in around the world, my dear honorable sister, Sita Sagaran. So my dear, uh, my dear honorable sister, we'll talk about the role of altruism of mental health well-being. So over to you, my dear sister. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ahmed. I'm not sure when I received such a beautiful introduction. Thank you very much. You made my day. And thank you, first of all, for sharing very, very valuable insights into the importance of meditation. I think the importance can never be really re-emphasized and emphasized because it's so very critical for our well-being today. So before I start with the importance of the importance of um, altruism on our life, 
I'd like to begin the session, first of all, with a thank you, my appreciation to Jude and to Jim Ha for this opportunity to present the session today. And before I start, in the spirit of respect, I would like to recognize the Aboriginal peoples of Australia as the traditional custodians of Australia. I take this opportunity to pay my respects to them, their culture and their elders, past, present and future. I'd like to begin with a small story, if I may. Now, there was this gentleman, we will call him David. Now, this is based on a true, true story, but we will call him just David to protect his privacy. So it was 1999 August when 46-year-old David was sitting at his desk when he felt a peculiar inflamed pain in his abdomen. Heading to the hospital, he was diagnosed with an inflammatory disease of the colon characterized by extreme pain. He was bedridden for the next five months with two surgeries and three months in the hospital. His company was incredibly supportive and so were the people who worked with him. His first paycheck was 10% of its usual amount. And that was something which definitely worried him and concerned him because Christmas was fast approaching and he knew that it would be very difficult for his family to make it through the Christmas period with the state that he was in. His wife was a teacher, yet the family was struggling. Two weeks later, to his pleasant surprise, he received a full paycheck and several hundred dollars in cash. And on inquiry, he found out that all his team members, the employees of the company he worked in, had gotten together and donated cash plus any vacation time they had to him. Now, how is it that in certain moments we find very, very remarkable situations where people are so very generous when it comes to reaching out and helping others without expecting anything back? Now, David is a great example here who had received the kind love, care, and selfless, I would say, service or contribution to his life from people who, whom he knew, some of them, and also people whom he did not know. My dear audience, friends, this is what altruism is. It is when people do something without expecting anything in return. All those people who had helped David at that point of time, they expected nothing back except the fact that he gets better and his family and him are well. So what is altruism? Altruism is when we implement an action to improve, support, or enhance another's welfare, even at the risk or cost to ourselves. I think when I think about altruism, one of the people, absolutely, thank you so much, doing something without expecting something in return. Now, before I continue, there is one person amongst us whom I admire immensely, whom I consider is a global inspiration for the amount of work he and his, of course, his wonderful team does to create greater awareness regarding mental health awareness. Can I please have Jude? Jude, can you please switch on your video? And I would just like to ask you, what, why do you consider doing good for others can help us also? It may not be direct in terms of the reaction or the response, 
we may get through the action. But why do you believe from an individual perspective, why do you think altruism is important and especially critical for mental health awareness? Uh, well, Brother Jude, actually, my dear sister, asking a question towards you. If you can, uh, you can share yours as well. No issue. In case uh, perhaps Jude is, hi, Catherine. In case Jude is currently unavailable to come online, I would just like to probably we can get back to him a little later, Habit. What do you say? So I think we can Absolutely. continue. Absolutely. Sure. So I think what I'd like to mention here is altruism has got the power to transform us into better human beings. Now, for some of the critics who may mention that altruism is a form of making ourselves feel better, I think I, I consider it as a rather negative and toxic statement for the simple reason there can never be any act which may not necessarily be not criticized. Because no matter whatever we do, whether it is with good intent or it is from purely a neutral intent, there would always be criticism. But the fact remains that when we talk about altruism, it definitely does help mental health. And today I want to mention this but particularly to all of you, because we are dealing with mental health awareness. And the more we are able to get more volunteers, more contributors, more supporters who can create greater awareness around, the better it is for the world that we are a part of. So how does it help? When we help others, it can promote physiological changes in the brain linked with happiness. You heard it right. And acts of alt altruism can be a great form of stress relief as well. It can definitely lift our spirits. So how does it actually lift our spirits? It builds social connections. It also enables us that to understand that when we help others, we also feel happy and good in the outcome of the actions in the process. So I think what we need to focus here is particularly that it needs to become a part of our life, our everyday life. Every day when we get up in the morning, what is it that we can do for the world? What is it that we can do? It can be a very, very small action, but knowing what to do, and making that effort is very, very critical. So what are some of the key factors that promotes altruism? The first one is social responsibility. All of us as humans, we have a social responsibility to the world we are a part of. Whatever we are doing, wherever we are, each of us can contribute in some way to people around us. So that's the first one, social responsibility. The second one is sharing and giving. When I talk about sharing and giving, there is someone who comes to my mind and he is a role model for me. He's no more and he's my dad. And he had this knack of also going out and trying to help people mend their relationships. And sometimes, as you may have guessed it, it used to backfire on him badly. But it never bothered him because there, just as sometimes it would kind of backfire on him, sometimes it would be successful. And I think the fact that we need to take that first step is what matters, not being concerned about the outcome, but with the good intent to make sure or to make all efforts to see that the outcome is positive. The third one, the reason, is purely for justice. Now, you may think, why justice? Definitely. If we are believing in altruism, we would also be considering the fairness of our existence. For example, when you are living well, 
Isn't there anything you can do to help someone else who's not living as well as you? It may not necessarily be through financial assistance. It could even be just by sharing your knowledge, by being there to listen to someone who's going through a tough time and also for being the silent shoulder that they can really rely on to pour their heart out to them. So please, please be aware of the role that each of us can play, that each of you can play to make the world a better place. Thank you, Abdullahi, appreciate it. And the fourth one is doing what we think is right because of the importance of reciprocity. When I say reciprocity, there would be countless people all around you who has helped you become the person that you are. All of you are undoubtedly special. And you would have had caretakers, you would have parents, and those of you who may not have had parents, you would have been brought up by perhaps another family member. But all in all, the fact remains that you are who you are and all the goodness in you is definitely something and it has been contributed by a lot of people and experiences that you have come across. So how do we make sure that we pay it forward? by being someone who believes that part of the purpose in our existence is also coming from doing good to others. Ahmed, is Jude back with us? Is he back with us? Otherwise, I would love to ask him. Thank you, Aisha, appreciate it. Well, Jude. actually in the Jude area, it's a midnight going on, so it's tough to open the camera as well as talk. Ah, I understand. My apology, Jude. Perhaps I ought to have realized that considering the time, it might be difficult for you. No issue at all. So let's let's get back to altruism and also know a little bit about how does it manage our stress in our life. The first one is it increases the social support that we have. Yes. When we try to help others, we come to know more people. It might be purely because we want to help them, but the fact remains that they come to know about us. And so in other words, we also realize that we are not alone. This world is such a huge place, but here I'm speaking to all of you. I'm speaking to Ahmed, who gave us such a lovely talk about meditation. So we are all getting connected here. And what matters is we are not alone. So those of us who may be feeling that, oh, we don't have too many friends, we don't know too many people, that's all right. The fact is we are part of a huge global community whereby we are having people around us whom we can contact and also get to know better and also support as well in our own way. The second one is it also increases our awareness of the world we are a part of. Now we are talking about stress management here and how it helps us. Altruism definitely helps us become better aware of where we are and what we are. Because when we help others, we are becoming more aware of people who require assistance, who are undergoing a lot of problems because of the fact that they need to be living better. So we are getting an awareness on how well we are living our life. So the feeling of gratitude increases when we become more aware about our existence and the world around us. The third one is, it, it is, let me quote Gandhi here, to be the change that we want to see in the world we need to be prepared to make efforts to build a better society. And how do we build a better society? By being the change that we want to see in the world. If you want others to help others better, it starts with us. If you want others to start speaking to others better, it starts with us. 
So instead of standing aside and thinking, oh, I'm going to wait for someone to start talking better to me, and only then I will talk to them better. No, the fact is we start behaving the way we want others to behave. And of course, communicate as well. And looking at stress relief, I think it would also do a little more better for us to look a little deeper at the significance that uh, altruism has on our life, including the benefits. It promotes spiritual and emotional values as well. Now, all religions all over the world talk about doing good, making sure that we live well by speaking well, thinking well, doing well, and talking well. So I think altruism that way connects us better to spirituality. It, it helps us become true to what we believe in and what we talk and behave or lead our life. And it is altruism, we need to remember when we talk about altruism that it is not to be seen as an obligation. Then it no longer becomes an altruistic act. Altruism means that we are being selfless when we do something. It's not like, okay, I'm doing this, I expect something else from you. Then it no longer becomes altruistic in nature. The second one is, we need to have no expectations when we do something good, truly good for something or somebody or any kind of movement. It has to be totally selfless. And as I mentioned earlier, it needs to make sure that we connect better with people because true altruistic acts always connects people to people. It reduces social isolation. Thank you very much. I'm not sure how I should pronounce your name, Chichioki. I, I'm, I'm very bad at pronouncing names. So if I have mispronounced your name, please tell me. And as I mentioned earlier, it connects people. It reduces social isolation. It improves the world that we are a part of. And at the same time, it creates purpose in existence. It builds self-confidence. And I think this is also, I think, a subject that I feel very strongly about, that I consider parents to be very, very aware about. Because when we are bringing up children as parents, one of the best ways we are able to help our child become more aware about helping others is by doing altruistic services to others. So that we become role models for children to practice that in their life when they reach adulthood as well. So by helping others, it definitely helps us. It helps us to make the world better, to improve our own mental health as well. And also it reduces stress and it increases greater life satisfaction. So coming to the conclusion, why is altruism important? It induces feelings of happiness, it can influence children to become altruistic in nature. So in other words, we are creating, helping to create a better world for tomorrow. And also, as someone once said, altruism is one of the most fundamentally social impulses and doing things for others without expecting anything in return. And it is what makes us human. So I think for those of you who are here today for this session, what I'd like to mention to you is that please allow yourself to be more positive. Give yourself more positive affirmations. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. And also do things for others that you would like yourself to receive if had you been in their position. So in other words, lead a better life so that you can be happier and you can create 
greater happiness all around you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ahmed. And I am yes. so very happy to answer questions at this point of time. Absolutely, absolutely. So I would like to request all the participants who have joined with us and please share if you have any questions, suggestions, any of your, any of your perception, any words towards our great iconic sister, Seta Sagaran. So I do, I do believe that if you are really share some of your words, it's really, uh, you are actually a step ahead of your journey because without uh, sharing some of your words, without raising your voice against or for any topic, I think you won't get uh, so much understandable as well as you can easily implement those in your in your life as well as other life as well. So thank you so much, my dear sister. And yes, I of course I would, I would like to uh, focus that you have such a wonderfully have articulated the altruism because most of we are not actually aware of what the uh, terminology of altruism, and you are focusing on some other things that why altruism is required. And of course, I would like I'd like to address that sharing and giving. You have shared that you got that as your iconic father. You got the that kind of quality that by sharing and giving. This is one of the noble feel I have to say. Trust me, what I actually uh, mention it because I got this to my uh, from my mother because I love that I I had been experiencing that my mother from the very beginning whatever she has. She loved to uh, share, love to I mean, give the money towards the people who require. Even uh, I just, I just uh, told a number of times that my mom, mom uh, you don't have that, that much money. So how can you actually uh, have the courage or have the initiative, initiative to give the money towards others? My mother told me that, yes, I don't have any uh, more money, but whatever I have, I will share, I love to share because uh, that what I actually experienced that whenever some people take some aid from a mother, he or she becomes so much uh, emotional, even they are, their smile seems to like a thousand billion money value smile because they are feeling that uh, this kind of people still exist in the world. So we have to be like this, trust me. If you are a, if you are Muslim, if you are a Christian, if you are a Buddhist, doesn't matter whatever religion you are belong, all the religion focusing on humankind. If you are really to be uh, frank on the humankind, I do believe that you have to have a uh, great uh, understanding regarding the altruism and try to be because uh, whatever you have earned money, trust me, every single of your uh, mapani, there's a lot of responsibility from yourself, from your family, from your relatives, from your social, and that was, that was what I shared, that your country as well. So for your social responsibility, this is also required that my dear sister also focus. And yes, uh, you can actually, if you are focusing that for them, it will definitely uh, give you the intuits of happiness. Even it will help you to uh, be like, uh, to create a better world as well as it will definitely help you to be a socialized because most of we are actually stuck with the social medias, not interested to go out even in the other floor. But if you are truly believe and belong this altruism in your life, I do believe that most of the people will definitely love you. Even you will feel the value of yourself in the social medias, not only social medias in the physical life, not only physical life in our own the world, because most of the people actually require that. You are wasting your food. You are wasting your money. Trust me, in the other part of our world, the Madagascar, the African, some other African nation, they are struggling to have a, a single meal in a day. They're struggling to have money. They are struggling to have a basic need. They are struggling Absolutely. to have the gate. So why are you doing that? Is that the purpose of your life? No. If you are truly a human being, try to be a truly, um, uh, to, to, to lead a life like altruistic services, trust me, it will give you the meaning of your life as well as it will give you the ultimate human value. 
So Thank I'm sorry, you. I'll talk too much. Sorry, but no, no, yes. not at all. Sorry to interrupt you, Ahmed. Can I please put in a word? Sure, here? sure, sure. I, I just like to share with all of you from my own experience that uh, many years ago, when I had been through a personal crisis, and uh, I, uh, I think one of the the awareness, one of the the, the key awareness that came into uh, into me during that period is that I realized that I was focusing more on myself. I was focusing more on the challenges I faced than on the fact that I could definitely be more grateful for whatever blessings I have. And also looking around, I could see there is so much that I could do for others. So what I want to raise an awareness to all of you here is that the more we are conscious about the world we are a part of, and the more we are conscious about what we have and the gratitude we have for what we have, we get more opportunities to help others, to support others, and also be more aware about how we can help others lead happier lives too. So that was just my personal learning here. Thank you, Ahmed, over to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Please give a love, her chair, and give a class from my sister. Such a wonderful uh, feeling from her inside that don't try to be a, your, I mean, your central uh, activities, try to be a social activity, try to do some social activities as well. Because yes, of course, you are sharing your words. There's also a part of altruism because you are not actually, uh, you are definitely your experience enough. You have so much knowledge, but when you're sharing the knowledge, it's also sharing and giving. So this is also another part of, a part of the altruism for us as well. Thank you so much, my dear sister, for sharing your valuable and insightful words. And I do believe that everyone who ever joined from the different parts of the world today, they will get such a great knowledge indeed. And of course, please try to execute this, uh, this kind of knowledge in your life. Try to share these kind of things towards others. So I think the main motive to create this event will be uh, serve successfully. So thank you so much once again. And please, if you have any question, you can share in the chat box or you can raise your hand and I will give you the floor to share your words. Otherwise, I would like to uh, give the congratulation and heartiest gratitude to share your words, my dear sister. So, <laughs> well, I would like to move ahead. So, sorry. Okay, let me welcome to the another panelist. So yes, uh, now I'd like to welcome for sharing some social media strategies the person who are working behind Jimha and do a, uh, do a several activities, even though whenever you, you are engaged with Jimha as a volunteer, he will be, can, I mean, he will be connected with you for every single solution as well as some other activities. So without further ado, I would like to call the uh, Amadi Vivian Akioma will talk about the social media strategies. So my dear Honorable Amadi Vivian Akume, floor is yours. Uh, well, uh, Vivian, can you hear me? Or uh, you are available? Okay, I, I don't see Vivian is here. Okay, don't worry. So just, uh, my dear brother, do you want to share some of your words? I know uh, the midnight is going on in your <laughs> area. Anyway, so I'm just focusing each and everyone, whoever uh, connected with Jimha. Jimha actually focusing several activities in, with the several leading specialists like uh, my sister, Seta, and some other people and some other uh, great professional to conduct every single session. Trust me, if you are really a contributor, if you are really a uh, thing that uh, the true meaning of humanity, you need to serve, try to connect uh, Jima every single activities as well as share the whatever you have learned and try to do in your life as well. 
So, uh, dear brother, okay, okay, I can see the hand. So, Chijoke, I'm so sorry if I uh, mispronounce your name. You can have your words. But unmute yourself, please. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody from Nigeria. Good afternoon. Please, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. First, I want to appreciate uh, all the presenters for this program and uh, most especially Jim Ha for this wonderful opportunity. Um, I just want to add to, I just want to contribute. I, I, I thank in a special way the last speaker, in fact, uh, she has really taught me a lot and uh, I think I am enriched right now. So I want to really I want to contribute. I want to really uh, encourage. Um, she just uh, times um, people think that uh, they don't have anything to give, uh, but the fact is, everyone has little or two thing to give. Um, Whether little well, or huge, and taking responsibility is the responsibility. Yes, brother, go on. Of every one, and there is people know sometimes they. Okay, I understand because of the network glitch, it's happened. So my dear brother, uh, if you are able to share your words uh, through the chat box or in Jima page, so I would definitely appreciate it. And as well as you can have the solution if, uh, if uh, you have any question towards our today's guest, say the Sagaran. So yes, my dear sister already shared them social medias platform address. So if you want to connect with my dear sister to enlighten yourself to Please don't stop yourself right now. Go to the link and try to connect it with her so that I do believe that you will be the, it will be the life-changing click in social videos. So without watching so many videos and watching so many videos and so many games, try to be connected to see the video of my dear sister. So every single video will give you the uh, some solution information as well as some insights that you can execute your life as well as you can able to be an iconic person in your social atmosphere. So dear sister, if you do have any uh, last word to us. I just thank you very much, uh, Ahmed. I'd like to just convey my gratitude and appreciation. Uh, let me start with, of course, uh, Professor Jude. I think ever since I got to know Jude a few years ago, I've always had amazing, very inspiring interactions with him. Thank you very much, Jude, for making me a, a, a very, very happy and appreciative uh, associate of Jimha. And thank you very much uh, for enabling me to share uh, whatever little I know with all of you. And it's been a privilege all along. And thank you very much, uh, Ahmed, for the wonderful moderation. I, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> I love your, uh, your sheer vibrancy that you bring forward through your voice. So thank you very much. And to all of you, thank you very much for being a great audience and wishing each of you the very, very best for all your personal and professional endeavors. Wow, such a great and powerful words. Yes, I already uh, actually give you following your page and give you, I'm connected with you in LinkedIn as well. So yes, don't actually lose this opportunity to connect with our sister. Yes, of course, sister, just last question. And the last thing that if you are uh, think that the meaningful of life, just three words, 
share your three words to meaningful to lead a meaningful life to lead a meaningful life you want me to mention three words right. okay the first one is gratitude okay the second one love the third one is service i think these are just the three words that came to my mind i'm not sure how wow. many of you agree with it but i think these words resonate with what i consider a life should be or a life ought to be because being born as a human we have the greatest we have the greatest opportunity to bring a change into our world and i think if we do not take action for that purpose we are actually ignoring our existence as a human okay i'm sorry actually i'm not actually give you the scope to go i'm just asking so many question and yes this would be the last okay i'm not sure please chilling please, absolutely question. ahmed you're most welcome please do ask me. okay okay uh, just i just want to know that uh before starting the journey as a trainer so what is the ultimate uh, vibration you find you have found that i should be like a trainer how can you find this kind of passion thank you thank you ahmed i think you have asked me one of the questions that i am often asked my journey has been a very unexpected one but i call it unexpected because part of me knew that i wanted to reach out to people and help them and there was another also incident in my life which spurred me to take up this journey with greater passion because when i i think i mentioned that i had a, a personal crisis a, a number of years ago and that also created in me a feeling that i need to reach out i need to really find myself i need to find the purpose of my existence what exactly is the purpose of my existence what am i on this earth for what can i do that can create a better a more socially positive impact to people around me so i think it was a combination of reasons which got me on to this training journey and i think over the years i i i really enjoyed the journey because apart from training apart from speaking i've also had great opportunities to communicate with the world through my writings as well and with a little bit of uh, motivational writing story writing poetry and i think it's been a, a wonderful journey of self revelation and discovery for me absolutely we are really honored really honored to have you over and yes of course is a great journey indeed because of uh, most of we are actually are not getting so much passion on that because yeah, to be a trainer is not very easy as task as well you have to have the courage you have to have the information even though you have to have the inside feel from your inside that i have to be different than others to share some of the words that can change the people i want to be the change maker and trust me i am very much inspired from you as well as from your journey so inshallah with the with my ongoing uh, professional journey i will be the another change maker trainer in the world i'm sure you well, will ahmed i'm sure you will i have no doubt all right that is actually a boosting things in my life <laughs> So all right all of you thank you so much for joining with us i would like to mention whoever joined from the very beginning my dear julie the honorable nika sakina terio who is me and of course my dear brother and i guess did you okay i'm sorry to forget and yes of course brother jude for arranging to this event and i do believe that whoever watching right now you will have a great information if you are missed to join from the beginning please after it after the end you will have a recorded video so you will go through the recorded video of course you will get some information 
that will can change your life and feel some insightful things as well. So thank you so much for being with us and stay safe, stay blessed and be deep and try to be healthy as well, both physically and mentally. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much.